Hello, hello, and welcome, everyone. This is Game Hacking. This is a course that I normally only run as an elective in summer sessions. And the last time I ran it, uh, it was summer 2022. It's one of those courses that I love to run. Uh, I love to uh, I love to do it. Um, but um, there's just usually so little time and um, almost never get a chance. So I am glad to be back this semester. I hope that you are glad to have the opportunity to take it because I honestly thought I was never going to be able to teach this again. This is going to be the uh, the first video. This is all about getting started, um, getting in the game, getting a character made. We're not actually going to be doing any hacking today. Uh, we need to make sure that we can configure our game client, get everything going, and um, get into the game before we can do anything else. All right, so what I have here running in the background, of course, is our game client, Pwn Adventure 3 Pony Island. That is the game we're going to be hacking. It is okay to hack this game. This is a game that was designed to be hacked. It was designed for the Ghost in the Shell Code CTF uh, several years ago, 2015, I think. So it is a little bit long in the tooth, but uh, these opportunities are fairly rare, so we will seize them when we have them. What I have done is I have downloaded and extracted the archive for... Um, the Windows version here of the Pwn Adventure 3 client. What you're going to need to do is download that archive and extract it. After you extract it, um, you can extract it anywhere, by the way. There's no uh, packaged installer. There's no MSI. There's no EXE that you know runs an installer or anything like that. Um, you just extract the game files, and there you go. Those are all the game files. And what you're going to have is something similar... Um, to something similar to uh, this here. Um, this is in the Pwn Adventure 3 directory. <clears throat> Excuse me. Inside that is our Pwn Adventure 3 binary, the exe. That's our actual game client. And we've got some subders, an engine folder, and a Pwn Adventure 3 folder. Um, we are going to ignore everything except for what's important right now, uh, which is to drill down to the Pwn Adventure 3 directory, down, here's uh, the binaries directory, this has got all of the important code the game needs to run, here's uh, the compiled binary here, we have some DLLs that are loaded, and well, we'll get more into these uh, uh, a little bit here this semester, but for now, just so you know, that's where those are kept. Our config holds configs, which we would expect. And in the content folder, we have a server and a PAX folder. We are interested in the server folder. Now, when you first get in here, there's going to be two files in the server directory, server.crt and server.ini. Now, I have three files here because I've already configured the game client. Um, so you are going to need to essentially do what I did here. First, rename uh, server.ini to server.old. Let me show you what's in the file. This is what it looks like before you do any configurations. So it's got a host name and a port. There's no game server, but there is a game server port there. What you need to do is download the server.ini file from uh, Canvas or configure it yourself and add the information that we need for our game client, which is the uh, master server and game server that I have configured up on Google Cloud. You will need this information. Again, this server.ini file is available on Canvas. Just download it, replace your server any file with my server any file, and you should be good to go. Or um, edit your server any file so that it is identical to this one. Now, if all's gone well, I haven't tested it yet. I actually haven't been in the game at all. I have no idea if this uh, is actually working or not. So hopefully I'm not putting myself in a position where I'm going to be troubleshooting here in a moment. Um, so let's try and get in the game here and see if we are able. Um, so there is an offline version. That is something that you can play with. Uh, I did consider doing a, a 
an offline play this time uh, because the last two times I ran it, we did the online version. The offline version is completely client side, obviously, so that gives you a lot more ability to to edit things, to change things. Um, but I think we'll just go with the MMO because it's just more fun. I think. Okay, so let's give it a try. Okay. Custom server, this is what you should see. Um, I will need to register a new account because this is a brand new server. Register new account. Oh, right. Um, I do have a team name. Um, add to create an admin team. Um, this is uh, set up to use teams because um, the CTF had like 1,800 participants. So um, they're in there. I didn't disable them. That said, don't use teams. Don't, I mean, feel free to work together, but not on teams. And the reason for that is because there are certain events and challenges that are instanced for teams. So I should see... I mean, we've got 25 students in the class. I should see 25 teams, not including my own. So do not join teams. Everyone has your own team, okay? Fancy man, or the cop. I think those are exclusive to the admin team, so I think that's what I'll go with. How about I go with the cop? I think I did the fancy man last year. I think I'll do the cop this year. Uh, all right, create and join. Character name, oh. <clears throat> and we're in the game. So hopefully uh, that is what you... We'll see, and hopefully it will be that easy for you as well. Um, this is where we begin. We start off in a cave. Feel free to look around. It's a 3D environment. So, you know, hopefully... I, I had a, I had a, I've had students play this game before, or take this class before, that don't play games, which is fine, but it's, of course, about game hacking. So knowing how to play games is certainly very helpful. So hopefully you don't have an issue with that. If you do, then I can't really teach you how to do that. Um, so this is not the way out, right? That's just, uh, if you go over here, you can just kind of see, I think you can see the moon through it. Yeah. Um, what we need to do now is we need to get out of the cave. That's our first mission up there in the upper left-hand corner. Um, this is also your first assignment. This is how we are going to complete Goodness Gracious. Um, it's basically a free assignment that I'm giving you. It's just, you know, if you can configure the game client and get in the game, pretty much you've you've solved it because this, it's really just as easy as this if we head down this way. Uh, there's two branches, so we will go up. And then we have this uh, pretty little statue and there's water and everything. Um, so this is a pretty sophisticated um, facsimile of a game for hacking purposes, but it's not that complete. So like there's no fall damage and also there's like water is a hard surface. So you, you can walk all the way around if you want or just jump right off and you'll land harmlessly on the top of the water. And there is a floating book underneath this statue so we will learn that spell and there we go the achievement goodness gracious has been acquired and we have acquired the great balls of fire in our item bar down here on number one we now have the magic spell for fireball and there we go 
Do the left click and you'll see your mana go down and fireballs come out. And that is pretty much uh, the first challenge. Configuring the game client, getting in the game, creating a character, and essentially ensuring that you can participate in the rest of the class. I'm going to wind my way back up out of the cave, and I'm going to go back to this uh, fork in the road that we saw before. All right, there's the fork in the road. So that's our, where we got the fireball. This is where we're headed now. I'm not going to actually head out. I'm just going to get to the uh, exit, and we will uh, pick up from that point on uh, the next video. So here we go. Got these bushes in the way, and in order to get out, we will have to burn them with the fireball. But we'll save that for next time. Um, that's goodness gracious. That's your first assignment. Um, um, all right. So next time we will uh, get into the game proper and um, start poking around and doing a little bit of game hacking. So uh, take care. And if you have any problems, questions, or concerns, please reach out to me by email. Um, I'm not planning on doing any synchronous meetings this semester. So I don't know. Maybe. Well, I, might, I might change my mind on that one. We'll see. Okay. Take care.